well, let's go into the definition, basically. A patriarchy is a system of society or government in which the father or the eldest male is the head of the family and descent is traced through the male line, right? Mm-hmm. But we see that amplified throughout society and government and all these other roles. But as a result of that, you have a lot of men making decisions for women. Exactly. My question is, as men, how do we lead without knowing, without really knowing who we're leading, right? Mm. right? To be a strong leader, you have to be able to know, I don't want to say your servants, but your supporters, your followers. But you should know your servants. Like, I mean, to a part of leadership, in my perspective, is being a servant, right? Mm-hmm. You be a servant leader, right? Mm-hmm. I, that's just from my opinion. But to answer your question, how do we know? And that's what I was kind of going at. If I'm working, yeah, I call the shots per se. But I still get my orders from the woman. It's, it's in, in my mind, we're working together. So I get my ideas from you, my thoughts from you, and I put my life on the line to, because I could be wrong. Let's say I come to you, we, we debrief, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do that. And it goes wrong. I take that hit, not you. Well, we, we both take it because we're family, but that's how I'm looking at it. But to answer your question, how would we know? We would know through the woman. Can you elaborate on that? Right, I was going to say, because I'm trying to... Ask your question again. Because, like, I I get you, but it's just... So, in leading them, how do we get to a place where we... Like, how do we actively learn to lead them? You got to listen. You got to... That's what I'm saying. So, I think I said that now. When you say... I get what you... How you... How that ties in. I get how you say that. But I guess my concern is, because I hear the both of you, right? But let's just be very straightforward. Every man is not just listening to women. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I think it's more slim to none that you get a man that listens. Uh, I don't think so. I feel like when it comes to that dynamic, there are men who listen. I'm not saying that there's no men who listen. There's men who listen, but I feel like the men who think like, well, I'm the breadwinner or I'm the one who make the decisions, a lot of times they're not turning to their wives to ask them anything. I don't think that has anything to do with. Do you have men like that? Yes, yeah, I do. That's what I'm saying. I think so. There's men like that. I don't think that's the majority though. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why. I feel like the entire man existence until now, because they're getting weird and is doing things for. It's just weird. But f- f- growing up, it was always to impress the chick, do it for the chick, right? Like I- nowadays getting dressed for each other this is gay but i feel like that w- is to get the chick to be honest sure. i feel like and then it also is followed up by with some ego being stroked because sure, it's 100%. not just uh i'm doing this for a chick so when you i hear what you're saying but i feel like there's so much of society that's deeply rooted in domestic violence mm. um is that a majority though there's a large number, like Can domestic we, violence is. Let's get some statistics. Has, I'm not saying it's. There's a large portion of our that's society that's that Alex stemmed in you got domestic Wi-Fi? violence. All right, that's why we got Alex. In. Domestic violence, um, you know, a lot. There's a lot of control. Control. I don't know what the word I want to use. It's a word I want to use for it. It's not control, but I feel like there's a lot of masculinity that is ran through a household more than feminism. For sure. Fem, fem, fe, femininity. Femininity in a lot of households more 100%. So. I think you're absolutely right. I would never argue that. What I was trying to convey, honestly, is the, un, the, the unconscious mind compared to the conscious mind. So when you say, uh, when I hear you say, it's a lot of men who make decisions without talking to that woman for sake, right? I agree yeah. with that. Same and I, I agree with that as well. Now, just because a man makes a decision without asking this woman, is that intentional or that's just what we think is right? I think that's what happens. So when you're making a decision to uh, to decide what school Amaya is going to, to decide, I don't know, how you're going to get her to school or whatever, how you, what you're going to cook. Or sometimes you ask me, right? But for the most part, you handle that because that's in your nature. You're, you're, uncon- you're unconsciously programmed to do that. Well, so yes as a and man, no. Yes and no. Because Come on, no, you better not. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it, give it to you, Ralph. When it comes to Amaya, hey yo, you trying to go two, was, two under two? My bad, was, go ahead, my bad, go ahead, go ahead. That was wild. Give it to you, Ralph. Was crazy, yo. 
That was an interesting choice say? of Paul, words. It was an interesting. I didn't. Go ahead, bro. Touché. Go ahead. When it comes to Amaya, I may, that that may be true only because I raised Amaya, for, you know, myself before you. You get what I'm trying to say? When it comes to Alani, I ask you everything. Like so, for example, like so that's just true in in, in our scenario of that aspect. Let's stay but there, then. I feel like I I feel like when it comes to our children, I definitely run things by you. Like even when I was switching milk, like hey, what you think about this? When I'm like anything, because at the end of the day, I do feel like more wives run things past their husbands than husbands run past their wives. I don't know. I that's think my that's I, my person. I feel like it's less time that husband like babe. What do you think about this versus a woman calling like, "Hey, babe, I'm gonna." Da, da, da. All right, cool. I, that's even that's if, my even perf- if, personal. I'm a, I can, I can, my I personal can, opinion. I can argue this from so many different ways, and I say that because even if that's the case, we don't even got against everything else. Even if that's the case, again, that's a difference between intentionally doing it, right, or just but my, unconscious. My argument ain't isn't intentional or unconscious though. But we talking about we're talking about the word patriarchy and how. Men use it, let's use it to their advantage, right. basically, right? And I'm saying, I think it's less men who use it to their advantage than just not being taught, right? So even like you said, Amaya, cool, perfect example. You said you do that with Amaya because again, you've been raising her for eight years before me, right? Yeah. So well, you're already. Not, my, I want to clarify what I what I was saying. What I'm saying, I I said I might like I've done that with Amaya. Prior, like when early on in a relationship, I'm not running things about you with a child you don't even know yet. You know what I'm trying to say? Cool. But now I run a lot of things, but even, of, even still like now, with our children in general. But even still now, it's times yeah. where you don't run things by me, and it's not. I don't think it's intention. I just think that that's your motherly, that like that, that that's your motherly tick, right? That's that's what you do. It's not because mm-hmm. you, now if it's something that's that has something I, I feel like, like it a big, depends on what it is. That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. But because if it's not if it's not something that you deem as super serious, serious, yeah, no. you won't do it. Yeah. But. A thing of men. How many times you came to me and be like, I wish I would have, and I'm like, I ain't think it was that serious. It's the same way. It literally the same thing. But what happens is men a lot of times, forget men. Me, I think a lot of times what I do is I don't think a lot of things are that serious. So in return, you think So are you just saying that men don't think that things that many things are serious, so we don't run a lot of things by you guys? Yes. 